Not only are the rivers at the lowest point on Earth, that's the Dead Sea, under threat because of global warming, but also those that run from higher up, particularly the Tibetan Plateau. That's the largest, highest area in the world today and the source of many major rivers in Asia, rivers which flow from China to Pakistan. Over the past 40 years, the glaciers on this plateau have been melting. In fact, they've receded nearly 200 square kilometres due to rising temperatures. The knock-on effect is that rivers are starting to run lower. One example is the River Yangtze, China's longest river, and scientists have calculated a loss of nearly 1 billion cubic metres of water due to this dramatic environmental development. This is not a short-term problem because the melting glaciers actually replenish these rivers. However, long-term, the effects will become more obvious leading to a change in the ecosystem of the area, which is of grave concern to us all. With Tibet the only true source of fresh water to Asia, China is responding by building a range of reservoirs to catch the glacial melt, the precious needed water that would otherwise run off into the desert and be wasted. But long term, it seems that Global cooperation on solutions to halt climate change by reducing emissions now is imperative for all of us. This is Louise Burfitt-Dons for the Global Warming Hotspot for the Global Warming Alliance.